Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone at a wedding? So let's engage. Are you attending any weddings this summer? And do you want to get some drone footage of the wedding? Or have you been asked by the bride and groom to get some aerial photos and video of the wedding? Let's talk about what you need to know. There are plenty of videos out there that discuss how to capture great photos and video. And they discuss things like rule of thirds and proper exposure and using ND filters to account for motion blur. So we're not going to talk about photographic skills. We're going to talk about rules and regulations that might apply. So let's identify the rules that might apply. First of all, part 107.12 requires that everybody in the US who's flying a drone have a remote pilot certificate. Item A states, except as provided in paragraph C of this section, no person may manipulate the flight controls of a small unmanned aircraft system unless that person has a remote pilot certificate with a small US rating, or that person is under the direct supervision of a remote pilot in command, and the remote pilot in command has the ability to immediately take direct control of the unmanned aircraft. And item B states that no person may act as a remote pilot in command unless that person has a remote pilot certificate with a small UAS rating. As we've talked about in other videos in this series, there is an exception to this rule under United States Code 44809. It's the exception for recreational operations. If you fly your drone purely for fun or personal enjoyment, you qualify under this exception. However, some people think that if you're not paid, it's a recreational flight. But that's not true, and it's not the intent of the exception. The FAA states non-recreational drone flying includes things like taking photos to help sell a property or service, roof inspections, or taking pictures of a high school football game for the school's website. Goodwill can also be considered non-recreational flight. This would include things like volunteering to use your drone to survey a coastline for a nonprofit organization. So if you're just getting photos and videos to give to your daughter as a gift for her wedding, do you need a remote pilot certificate? The simple answer is yes, you do, because you're not flying your drone purely for fun or personal enjoyment. I'm sure there's gonna be some people who disagree with that, but that is how the FAA looks at the situation. Another rule that we need to think about at a wedding is part 107.39, which is operations over human beings. 107.39 states, no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft over a human being unless A, that human being is directly participating in the operation of the small unmanned aircraft, or that human being is located under a covered structure or inside a stationary vehicle, or the operation meets the requirements of one of the operational categories in subpart D. Item B and C are pretty clear, but I was asked if everybody at the wedding was notified and agreed to have a drone flying over them, would that meet the requirements of item A to be participating in the operation? And the answer is no. The preamble to part 107 specifically defines direct participant as specific personnel that the remote pilot in command has deemed to be involved with the flight operation. These include the remote pilot in command, the person manipulating the controls, and the visual observer. This can also include a person who is involved with the operation and the safety of the operation, like someone who is guarding the perimeter to make sure that the flight area stays clear, but it doesn't include all of the guests at the wedding. You still have to comply with all other areas of part 107 as well, like getting approval to fly in controlled airspace and not to fly your drone recklessly and things like that. But can you fly your drone at a wedding? Well, yes, you can. As long as you follow part 107 and you have a remote pilot certificate and you don't fly over people who are not involved with the operation. Your pro tip is if you plan to capture photos and video at a wedding, plan ahead and 
Coordinate with the wedding planner and also the bride and groom. The last thing you want to do is cause problems if you're flying your drone at the wedding or even worse to get somebody hurt. If it's an inside wedding and you're flying the drone entirely inside, FAA rules don't apply, so you can do that. However, I don't recommend flying your drone in a compact space inside over people. You're just asking for trouble. Let us know in the comments if you have a can I fly my drone question and we'll address it in a future video. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the UAV Coach channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified of future content. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you soon.